Anna Wendy Stevenson. I'm a fiddler and I live in North Uist in the Outer Hebrides. I'm a music lecturer and I'm based at Lewes Castle College, which is part of the University of Highlands and Islands. And I am programme lead for the BA in Applied Music. I love traditional music and I'm going to share with you one of the tunes that I've re written uh, recently, part of a suite I wrote called Sweet Uist, which has been inspired by here in the Hebrides. And um, I'm going to play a reel, which is called Falcha, which means welcome in, in Gaelic. And it's very much um, influenced by that, the piping um, scale and the piping um, ornamentation. So the pipes um, are very much featured in the traditional music um, of the Uists in the Outer Hebrides. So here we go, here is Falcha. you back to the beginning of the tune. Okay, so um, you can tell the pipe scale is the, uh, those notes plus the, the, the G um, on the D string. I'm, I'm making this open though. I'm not going to talk too much about fiddly things because this tune can be learned and played on a variety of different instruments. Um, and there's also, when I'm playing on the fiddle, there's, um, I often will supplement a G with a, a lower D, but that makes a very nice harmony if you're playing with a piper. So I'm gonna go um, break this tune up into to parts and take you through it. Okay, so. First phrase starts on E, and you notice that I'm using quite a lot of these um, the piping ornamentation kind of cuts. two phrases together, so starting on the E. And again, once more. Now, the next phrase uh, goes to an F sharp. to D and then so okay so beginning 
E. Okay, so that is the first half of the A part. And I'm going to do that again because it repeats. But then it repeats and then ends up on a long A. So it goes. phrases E okay so from that top A to do is add another run to take you back to the beginning so like a run and then that takes you back to the E so there just to give it a little bit of an extra lift I can have stopped the E so the regular ending was but this time I went to the beginning and see if you can see look out for and think about um you know the long note at the top the long note of the a and also the second ending is the stop on that e okay so Long. 
Okay, so there's quite a lot of string crossing if you're a fiddler on this uh, tune and one of the if you're going to play along with pipes there's often going to be quite a lot of string crossing and one of the, the tricks and things to practice is just being really economical with the bow trying to keep the bow in the middle and keep that rhythm going and actually although you can sound like really bouncy um, that doesn't necessarily mean lifting the bow off the string because every time you lift the bow you've got to put it back on and there's kind of more room for getting out of time so um, if you're a fiddler maybe just think about and watch that so I'll play that again that A part again Okay, so that is the A part, and the B part starts on C sharp. Okay. Okay. You can tell I'm, instead of playing two Bs there, I'm just tapping. finger okay next phrase starts on the G of this section okay okay so the beginning of the B parts that C sharp to the C sharp okay now the ending is um not a piper you can do instead of that first G you can do and that's a nice little variation so in fact what you're doing is got a D and an E going alongside the G so so pick one okay
at the end there. Okay, so I'm going to play the tune in its entirety. A and B part. Playing pipey tunes often gives you the opportunity to be able to play in that lower octave as well as the higher octave and to mix and match. That's quite a nice thing uh, to be able to do. So one of the questions was, do I feel part of the Celtic Atlantic arc? And I would say it's been a highlight in my musical life to be able to connect through music um, and to share the music of other um, cultures, other Celtic nations and a highlight for me has been the opportunity to go to Asturias in the north of Spain and also to Brittany and to be able to play along and learn and exchange um, the music and to see where the similarities are and the differences in some of the scales and some of the tune forms and it's really great to be able to feel a sense of connectedness and I definitely do feel a sense of connectedness through our traditions I think they're all very precious and um, and I hope that you get the chance to enjoy the other videos <laughs> 